That's not ads in the London Underground. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that story, plus an 80-year-old lands a record deal with DECA. But first, Palestinians and Israelis get together to do what? Play backgammon. On a warm weekend in August, Israelis and Palestinians were once again found on opposing sides of a table, but this time it was with the absence of violence or disagreement. Men, women, and kids from both sides of a divided Jerusalem gathered in the Ottoman-era train station restaurant to engage in the age-old pastime of backgammon. The event was organized by a peace group called Kolna Yerushalem, which means we are all Jerusalem. Now, Americans might no, backgammon is that game that's inside the game box with all the other checkers and chess pieces that none of us really know how to play. We also, you know, in our other work, as we were just doing this morning on The Morning Monarchy, we point out some of the dastardly things that come out of the state of Israel, but I think we never want to forget that it's people in all these situations, refugees, immigrants, victims of the state. Again, what did what Malcolm X say? If you're careful, the news will have you hate the victims and loving your oppressors. So we want to take a moment to look at some of the good ways that we are winning. This is your Good News Next Week, episode 33, for the week of September 19th, 2016. Again, I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. This is Frankie. She's going to try and catch birds on our last probable outdoor episode of Good News Next Week this year, as it is Equinox in the next couple of hours. So speaking of Frank and speaking of cats making things better, our cover story this week you have probably heard about, but it's too good to not include on this good news next week. Cats not ads, that's hashtag cats not ads, makes a London subway station better. We try to imagine a world where public spaces made you feel good. We hope people will enjoy being in the station and maybe think a bit differently about the world around them, says Glimpse founder and hashtag cats not ads leader Jeremy Turner. Instead of asking you to buy something, we're asking you to think about what's really valuable in your life. It might not be cats, but it's probably something you can't find in the shops. Now, in addition to the video, you can check out of this and everything, again, that we say and play on these episodes in Media Monarchy is always available in the show notes down below. And again, we would recommend and thank you for subscribing and sharing Media Monarchy work with other people in your neighborhood, network, community, what have you. We'll also include a background story about cities kicking the advertising habit, Sao Paulo, Brazil being perhaps the biggest and most beautiful and successful example of a city getting rid of big, garish outdoor advertisements that occupy not only the physical space, but they're trying to occupy our psychological space as well. So again, we'll include some of that in the show, so you can also check out some of the beautiful photos of what a advertising-free city might look like. Our final story this week, again, it was something you see it go by in the feeds, and I had never really looked at it, but of course, when you see the follow-up, it's like, wait, an 80-year-old guy just signed a deal with Deck of Records, the legendary old, old-time jazz and, and classic label? An 80-year-old man who became an internet star when his son posted videos of him singing in the car has landed a record deal. Deckard Records signed Ted McDermott to a deal after videos of his sort of carpool karaoke, as is the craze, were watched 40 million-plus times on YouTube. And again, that's why you see mainstream media imitating what we do here on the web. They wish they had the authenticity. But that's, that's a sidebar. That's more of a morning monarchy discussion. What's cool about this is... Ted McDermott was diagnosed with dementia back in 2013. His son finds that driving him around in the UK playing songs that his dad remembers the words to brings him back, if only even for that time, in almost an awakenings-like fashion. So the BBC reported the dad's recorded, appropriately enough, you make me feel so young, and on the flip side, quando, quando, quando. And it's supposed to be coming out this Friday on Decca Records, and the proceeds go to the Alzheimer's Society and the McDermott family. We will, again, highly recommend, if you've got some of the ways that you're winning or solutions-oriented stories in your town, please tweet them using hashtag good news next week. If you're not on the tweets and if you avoid social networks altogether, we applaud you. 
And you can always just send me an email, james at mediamonarchy.com. But I think one good other hashtag good news next week note from a listener and longtime friend and supporter of Media Monarchy. That's Morgan Lesko. And one last look at his awesome victory garden. Simple, safe, and crazy tasty. So again, huge thanks to Morgan Lesko of Wiki World Order. And a huge thanks to you for sharing some of the ways that we are winning. This has been your good news next week. For the week of September 19th, 2016, I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.